All right. So thank you again, Carmel, for volunteering here. Yeah, thank you for that. Now you have a physical problem. How long has the problem been there? Over six months. So six months. Have you been to the doctor with this, Carmel? So, uh, not this particular one. So I know what it is. So um, a couple of years ago, I had a shoulder impingement on my left shoulder. Yeah. and uh, had uh, cortisone injections and ended up having to have decompression surgery on my shoulder mm -hmm. because my range of movement, it, it would it, just so much pain. It's through like wear and tear. Um, and essentially what they did is they shaved my bone mm -hmm. to give more space around my shoulder joint. Yeah. So... I know that the sensations that I'm getting in my right shoulder mirror what happened in my left shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a bit more cautious with my right shoulder, so I think I've perhaps maybe um, not aggravated it as much as I did my left shoulder, but it definitely, you get to a point where uh, the, the space that's in the joint is, is smaller so therefore you don't have full range of movement very interesting you know i, I always learn so much from my <laughs> clients <laughs> uh -huh. and uh, thank you for that all right and uh, so what i would assume from that is that you would naturally think if you went to the doctor potentially they would give you cortisol yeah uh, because it's mirroring the other side yeah and potentially if it got bad enough you would end up in an operation would I be right yes yeah all right and uh, but you kind of chose not to go at this point because the surgery was really painful <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was a reason <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine isn't it you know so I never know what's going to happen when we begin to tap yeah I, I've said this before in the training I don't have the ability to look into the future so with that being said are you okay to tap with me unless it, let us just see what happens yeah yeah because you know yeah that'd be really interesting we'd be curious what might happen all right now what I want to do is I want to check where you are with this problem so we set up a feedback system but i want you to keep yourself safe carmel because i want you only to take to the edge of where it becomes a problem and stop at that yep. and because only you know the level of pain you're experiencing does that make sense yep all right so with that being said could you show us now how this problem is affecting you in the range of movement of that arm. Okay, so this arm, I get to there, yeah. and then I can start feeling the pinch in my shoulder. So drop it down then, yeah. So I'm thinking that that was maybe, I'm trying to measure it, um, which is fine. I'm thinking that was maybe about... If I go there... There, you'd say, yeah. yeah. It's about, maybe in my view, six or seven inches away from your ear, I think. Yeah. 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 Six or seven inches. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And bring it down. Keep it safe. Yeah. Bring out the other arm up and show us because we can do a comparison. Yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah, that's fine. We can do some fancy stuff, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to check on that. Yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't. Check. I couldn't. Before, I couldn't. Yeah, I noticed what you did is you had this one bent. I was thinking you had this one straight. You know, can you? Uh, okay, so if that's straight, that's straight up. Yeah, and this one you brought it up straight. Am I right about that? Because I can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. And are you? No, don't push it beyond anything. But just, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Any level of bending is that a possibility? Just, just. No, check. the bending's fine. It's only the actual shoulder joint. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So what we're looking at, that can go straight up. It can bend over. Yeah. It can do all fancy things. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> but the other I one. Can, it can touch my ear, I think. is yeah. A, yeah. And that's what we're going to measure. So I thought the other arm was about six or seven inches away from your ear. Now, what I can't 
see, and you can just let me know this, because we can move our arm forward and up, yeah, or we can move it straight and up. I'm not able to determine that from being on the camera. So just tell me, did you kind of, you know, I bring my arm out really at a... That's yeah, so it's I've gone out to the side and up. Hundred percent out to the side, one hundred and eighty degrees across here. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you'd taken it up like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so what we're looking at is that's what I want us to test on. So it's you know looking forward. This this whole area is one hundred and eighty degrees across. Yeah. And you're one hundred and eighty. I'm bringing it up like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So and then we're about six or seven inches away from your ear. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, just in case any other part of your body affects this, what I want you to do is just sit straight. Yeah, I think you probably are. Yeah, just get your legs on the floor, probably about whatever feels comfortable. It might be about a shoulder width, probably feels comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to standardize your positioning so that we know that there's only this as your variable. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So again, keeping yourself safe, just take to that edge, just in case what we've done has affected our test. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. So I'm going straight out to the side on both sides. Yeah. And that. All right. So I think that got a little bit closer. So we probably. Yeah. About... Um. Do you know what? I'm trying to. Sorry. There's an. Uh, there's a item next to me that is affecting how I move my arm. So yeah. if I go. Yeah. Straight out. Oh, no, it's not. I've just moved. Sorry, I've just moved, so it's not a... No, it's not what? It's... <laughs> Why? That, that... Oh, okay, now I've, I've got a pinch on my front. So... Uh -huh. Yeah. So am I right? Let me just check on this. You come in at 180 degrees, but when you do that, you're actually able to move it further. Yeah. Yeah. Is it so were you slightly further forward when you did the original test? Let's just check on that for me. So I have my legs up. Um, I've had them rested. If I sit straight up. Yeah. Right, there you go, there, there. Right, so what's different about the posture now? Um, So I'm sat straight up. All right, so, when you slope it down, have you got better range? Yeah. All right, just check, check with sloping down, yeah, and just check the range now. Yeah, better range. It's because right. the way your posture, and it makes sense, that the way your posture is meant to be, yeah. you're meant to have your shoulders back, yeah. And a part of the problem with with how this developed was because my posture was hunched over more. And so it was aggravating the joint. Yeah. So, yeah. So if I have my if I have my shoulders back the way they're meant to be, then when I bring my range of motion, I get to there. Yeah. All right. Which is really important to know because we could get false positives. Yes. If we don't pick up on that detail. Yeah. 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 All right. So you need to be there with your shoulders yeah. back. Then you have the restriction in the movement. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want false positives in our <laughs> process. So with that being said, what we're looking at now is we want, you know, once you get there, what what do you experience there? What is the thing that lets you know that you can't move her any further without getting it's pain? a pinch. A and real sharp pinch. Sharp pinch. Yeah, because yeah. it's the nerve that gets trapped in the space that's there. Where and precisely is there? What's your word? Uh right in the socket of, it, of the this, shoulder. So it's in the socket of the shoulder. Yeah. Um, what shoulder is that? I have a real problem with right. Uh, so do I. <laughs> it's my right shoulder. <laughs> uh, all right. So it's a sharp pinch in the socket of your right shoulder. Yeah. All right. And what is the intensity of that sharp pinch in the socket of your right shoulder? Uh, you're probably talking about a seven. Yeah. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to begin to tap. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. 
I'd go for that, yeah. And just state and say these words with me. So even though I have this sharp pinch. So even though I have this sharp pinch. In the socket of my right shoulder. In the socket of my right shoulder. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though I have this sharp pinch. So even though I know I have this sharp pinch. In the socket of my right shoulder. In the socket of my right shoulder. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though I have this sharp pinch. So even though I have this sharp pinch. In the socket of my right shoulder. In the socket of my right shoulder. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. On the eyebrow, this sharp pinch. This sharp pinch. Out of the eye, in the socket of my right shoulder. In the socket of my right shoulder. Under the eye, the sharp pinch. The sharp pinch. Under the nose, in the socket of my right shoulder. In the socket of my right shoulder. On the chin, the sharp pinch. The sharp pinch. Collarbone, in the socket of my right shoulder. In the socket of my right shoulder. And under the arm, the sharp pinch. The sharp pinch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, keeping yourself safe, no pushing this, Carmel, just check what happens now. And it's okay what happens, not a problem at all. It's, it's still restrictive, but it's not got the pinch. So it's restrictive. How would you describe the sensation? Now? It just feels like it won't go any further. Like All right. And so what is the sensation that's letting you know it won't go any further? Um, it's almost like a barrier. Barrier feeling? Where is the barrier feeling? In my arm here. All right. Where would you call here in your arm? Uh, like the inner, um, uh, the inner bicep. All right, yeah. And that's your natural language, inner bicep? Yeah, yeah. So it's a barrier feeling on your inner, right inner bicep. Yeah, like a, a, almost like a stretchy, like a stretch. Yeah. Like, All right. Like it's stretched as far as it can go. So it's a stretchy barrier feeling on the right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you talk with me. Yeah. <laughs> and just go with this. So even though I have this stretched. So even though I have this stretched. Barrier feeling. Barrier feeling. On my right inner bicep. On my right inner bicep. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though. So even though I have this stretched barrier feeling, I have this stretched barrier feeling on my right inner bicep, on my right inner bicep. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though, so even though I have this stretched barrier feeling, I have this stretched barrier feeling on my right inner bicep, on my right inner bicep. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. On the eyebrow, this stretch barrier feeling. This stretch barrier feeling. On my right inner bicep. On my right inner bicep. Under the eye, the stretch barrier feeling. The stretch barrier feeling. Under the nose, on my right inner bicep. On my right inner bicep. On the chin, this stretch barrier feeling. The stretch barrier feeling. On the collarbone, on my right inner bicep. On my right inner bicep. Under the arm, the stretch barrier feeling. The stretch barrier feeling. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, keeping yourself safe, Carmel, just check what happens now. So yeah. what I will say is before I even do this, in my, uh, this finger and this finger, I can feel lots of tingling. All right, which is interesting. Yeah. All right, keep yourself safe and whatever happens is fine, yeah? Mm -hmm. oh my god like I'm I like I don't <laughs> it's almost like being shown a magic trick that you want to like know the other side like okay how are you doing that trick <laughs> all right and so once you do that yeah what are you now experiencing uh just the tingling in the end of my fingers all right I I just I can't yeah 
All right, now you're not quite got it out your ear there. So what's letting you know you can't move it down a little bit further? Um, here, it just feels really tight. It feels like... Where uh, would you call that? Tight feeling? In my uh, shoulder muscle. In the right shoulder muscle, yeah? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. So even though... So even though... I have this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle. I have this tight feeling in my shoulder muscle. Yeah, I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though, so even though I have this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle, I have this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though, so even though I have this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle, I have this tight feeling in my shoulder muscle. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. On the eyebrow, this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle. This tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle. Out of the eye, this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle under the eye the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle under the nose the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle this tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle on the chin the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle on the bone the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle and under the arm the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle the tight feeling in my right shoulder muscle breathe in <sighs> breathe out and now keeping yourself safe check what happens yeah whatever happens in my part is just right doing lovely here <laughs> i got a slight pull here yeah but that's crazy and where's your slight pull? Where's the location of that? Uh, on the back of my bicep. Back of your bicep, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it is crazy how your body can heal, isn't it? <laughs> so, me. I might even scientifically explain it if I get the chance. Yeah. <laughs> so even though I have this slight pull. So even though I have this slight pull. On the back of my right bicep. On the back of my right bicep. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though I have a slight pull. So even though I have this slight pull. On the back of my right bicep. On the back of my right bicep. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. So even though I have this slight pull. So even though I have this slight pull. It's on the back of my right bicep. It's on the back of my right bicep. I accept I feel that. I accept I feel that. On the eyebrow, this slight pull. This slight pull. Out of the eye, it's on the back of my right bicep. On the back of my right bicep. Under the eye, the slight pull. The slight pull. Under the nose, on the back of my right bicep. On the back of my right bicep. On the chin, the slight pull. The slight pull. The collarbone on the back of my right bicep. On the back of my right bicep. Under the arm, the slight pull. The slight pull. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe out. <sighs> and now, keeping yourself safe, check what's happening now. And it's okay, whatever happens, by the way. Yeah. Then, oh, yeah. Little oh, yeah. Can you tap? Yeah. You're doing lovely. <laughs> you tap, tap, tap. <laughs> yeah, let it come. Stay with. Yeah. All of these emotions. <sighs> Stay with me. All of these emotions. Whatever All of these they emotions. Are. Yeah, whatever they are. Whatever they are. What if it's okay now to feel this? What if it's okay now to feel this? All of these emotions. All of these emotions. Whatever these are. Whatever these are. What if it's okay to feel this? What if it's okay to feel this? I don't have to push these down. I don't have to push these down. They're my emotions. And they're my emotions. What if it is okay to feel this? What if it is okay to feel this? All of these emotions. All of these emotions. Of the eye, whatever they are. Whatever they are. What if it's okay now to feel this? What if it's okay now to feel this? Whatever these are. Whatever these are. What if it's okay now? What if it's okay now? I don't have to push these down. I don't have to push these down. They're my emotions. They're my emotions. What if it's okay for me to feel this now? What if it's okay for me to feel this now? Whatever these are about. Whatever these are about. Yeah, what if it's safe now to have these emotions? And what if it's safe now to have these emotions? What if it is? What if it is? I think I might be. I think I might be. I think it might be. Oh, sorry, I think it might be. No, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> what if I am safe now to feel this? 
what do I am safe now to feel this? Whatever this is. Whatever this is. Yeah, because what if I'm safe now? But what? Because what if I'm safe now? I think I might be. I think I might be. Sat on this sofa. I'm sat on this sofa. <laughs> With Tanya. With Tanya. <laughs> Tapping. Tapping. What if I am safe now? What if I am safe now? All of these emotions. All of these emotions. And I will add better out than him, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of these emotions. All of these emotions. Whatever they are. Whatever they are. It's okay. It's okay. Breathe in. And breathe out. What are you feeling now? Um, uh, it's the overwhelming realisation that there is hope to heal so many things that once felt like they couldn't be healed. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Was that what that was? I yeah. I feel that, you know. When yeah. When profound things are said, I feel it and I've got that kind of lovely tingly feeling within me and quite often my, my little my hair stand on end is it's not quite with the hair standing on hair end stage but I think it's highly significant what you said because it's got got me some kind you can tap in with that because that's a powerful really good realization isn't it yeah and you know well I'll put this into perspective the body is continually healing itself yeah your body knows how to heal itself yeah and all really we have to do is support the body's natural healing mechanisms. And sometimes that's just about sticking some, rehooking the power supply up and saying, get on with it. <laughs> it's, you know, it's an attention, isn't it? Bringing awareness and attention to that. And then letting your body do what it naturally knows how to do. The body is not static. Uh, I've seen some, I just keep tapping whilst I say this. I've seen, there's a wonderful movie and it's about, oh, I don't know, uh, something something becomes her, about three witches. And uh, they make, they decide to cast a spell so that they never get any older in life. Oh, yeah, Death Becomes Her. That is the most brilliant movie. Yeah. I think it's relevant to this right now. So they think that's a great idea. So they put themselves into that static thing so their body never does anything, just stays where it is. Of course, one of them falls down the stairs. And it yeah. heads the wrong way around. But because they're witches, she can twizzle it round. <laughs> and, and what you realise is, you know, if the body was static, you'd be like them. But the body isn't static. <laughs> the body is continually repairing and regenerating itself. And some parts of the body take hours to repair. Oh, yeah. I was trying to explain to a friend of mine yesterday um, about the things that I learned yesterday. And uh, she was saying, oh, yeah, but maybe it's the placebo effect. Mm -hmm. And I said, but this is where people get it so mistaken. Isn't the placebo effect in itself amazing? Yeah, it is beliefs and everything like that. It's your body working. But I'll pull it back. So now, once you move your arm, Carmel, how does it now feel to you? Keep yourself safe, by the yeah, way. Yeah, no, I'm just amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. And I'm making sure that I have my shoulders in that position that I know was catching. And it isn't. And I, I just, I can't, like, I can't believe it. Like, like it's just crazy. Like, I I just it it's as I say it's like I've watched a magic trick and I don't know how you've managed to um like pull the wool over our eyes you know but it's but I know that you haven't because I know that it's me <laughs> well actually I only was the guide yeah yeah your body did the whole work for you yeah. and one of our heels us did that work rather I just took you through a process